Good morning. This is Joe. Uh, it is Thursday, October the 28th, 2021. I am going live as of right now. I am in, guys. Uh, tried to clear up the desktop. I'll put the stuff up before I end the video. Everything. Okay, so we're live. Uh, I should be able to see my buddies chatting. And there's comments. I want to do a pop out on that. See, they've changed all this stuff. Now I can do a pop-out on it so I can just see what you guys are saying right next to my OBS screen, which is pretty cool because I like using my OBS. So I'm going to say good morning. And today we're working on the auto or I'm the auto car. Oh, my God. Today we are working on the Diamond Rio. Uh, let me go ahead and get stuff up on the screen now. A couple of things anyways. Anyways, anyways. Okay, there we go. That should be fine for now. Uh, let me put Dave up there. We are on Facebook now. Let me put Dave up there. All right, Dave's up there now. All right, um, I'm going to go ahead and give a shout out also to Michael Mline for the uh, annual model car show, uh, 4th and 5th of December 2021. It's at the Tampa Fairgrounds, Florida State Fairgrounds. It's in Tampa. Uh, the address and stuff is on your screen. I'm going to be removing that in a couple of seconds. I just wanted to give that uh, a shout out, guys. Um, I'm going to try to make it. I'm not positive that I'm going to, but I'm going to try to make it. Um, I know I said I would. I, I'm going to try, guys. I really am. Um, but with everything that's going on right now and money situation in it being right around Christmas and stuff, I may not. I may just um, have my wife get me a couple of kits and come do extra shows or something. I don't know, guys. Um, besides, I'm getting a little bit of cold feet here with uh, putting in any of my kits into, you know, I'm my own worst critic, I guess you could say. Um, but like, subscribe, share, follow, hit that button. Hey, uh-oh, how does that happen? And TMA, uh, okay, let me bring up another thing. And why in TMA, I don't get that. What's going on in TMA? Let me squeeze over there real quick and see what the heck is going on. TMA announcement. I don't see anything so far. If you're talking about the one Crystal Mosey, that is okay with me. I'm not worried about that because she did say that, you know, if you're interested, and we do have that in the rules now, you're allowed to do that. Um, as long as you take care of everything else after your initial post. Um, so she's doing it right. And I don't see anything else. And I've been all over there this morning. So is that what you're talking about? Hey, Dave. Rob, is that the one you're talking about? Yes, okay, yeah, no, 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 that's cool. We're all good with that. Nope, 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 we're all good with that, bro. Brother, I'm good with that. She did it exactly following the rules. And she posted it exactly following the rules. She asked a question and she says, please PM me. Everything else from that point forward goes to PM, so I'm good with that. Um, we changed the rules probably about five months ago um, to allow that because a lot, of our, a lot of our guys do like to go back and forth. Um, sorry, Dave, hello, good morning, Mr. Dave. Glad to have you in here, brother. Um, it's just me, you, and Rob so far. Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove the car show after I did that. Um, first and second place awards. Um, there's a lot of other awards. They say hundreds of it. Uh, you pay $7 per 100 kits to join. Um, there's name Mike Alvarez, which is Michael Mline on our account's numbers on the screen there. If you need it, let me know. All right, I'm going to move that on down and off so that we can get the busy. All right. Also, I want to give my buddy Dave a shout out. Hey, Dave, I'm giving you a shout out while you're here, brother. Uh, go check him out. He owns uh, Damn Paint Body and Detailing. Um, yell at him, tell him um, Joe sent you, and um, he might give you a little extra something. So you guys have a great day. Anything, anything that would um, information from him will be in the description. Uh, what else have we got to cover there, guys? Um, That's about it, guys. That's what I got covered. Oh, I painted, um, I went ahead and built last night. Rob, you saw it, but Dave, you didn't. Uh, last night I went on in the middle of, I don't know, it was like 11 o'clock. I guess it was the middle of the night. Um, and I built the uh, sleeper. And this morning when I got up, I, oh, when we built some tires, started the tires and stuff. I haven't, de I haven't got them touched up yet. But I touched up the sleeper as well as the hood and the cab. So those are all done and sitting. Wait, we have another set of do to do. And we're going to be able to jump onto the chassis. That's our next step up. Yes, I'm a little early today. Uh, don't know why. I just felt like getting in here and doing stuff. Hello, good morning, Sarge. Glad to have you back in, bro. 
So uh, I'm going to go ahead and start working around. We're doing the wheels now on the diamond wheel. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start. Oh, wait, I don't have my stuff out, number one. I was almost, I thought I was ready anyways. I'm not ready. Cause we're, and then we're going to start, once we're done with the wheels, which isn't going to take us long. Whoever you guys that showed last night saw that, it didn't take us long. I'm going to set up this back set of wheels, um, let them sit off to the side and dry. Um, um, so I'm not going to put them on the wheels right now. I'm just going to get the, I'm not going to put them on the tires. I'm just going to get the wheels put together is what we're doing right now. Um, yeah, I figured I could do a little longer show today. I got nothing to do. Everything I needed to do was done for the week almost. Um, tomorrow, I got a few things to do in the morning. It's gonna, probably going to be right on time, if not a couple of minutes late. Um, but I'm, I'm usually right around 10 o'clock. I try sometime between 9.30 and 10.30 to make sure I'm on, you know. Um, I try to be on exactly at 10 most days. Some days that works, some days that doesn't. Um, most days, it's, it's easy what I can able to do it if I get my lazy butt in motion at 5 o'clock in the morning. But it usually takes me about an hour to, you know, have enough coffee in my system. Shout out to my boy, Paul Lovelace and Sam Stokes. Appreciate you guys. Shout out to the Model Asylum. Don't forget about the show on the Model Asylum, guys, uh, Sunday mornings. Um, if you can't make it, that's cool. Watch it, comment, let me know what you think. Um, I'm building my first ever tank. For those of you who see this that are on YouTube that don't already know this, that are just checking out our channel, um, that's on the Model Asylum under Facebook. So just do a search for uh, the Model Asylum on Facebook or Plastic Addictions on Facebook, and you will find our groups. Uh, we are on TikTok, Twitter, Slide, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. That's all of our platforms. I really only manage to get to four out of the six on a regular basis. So um, the four are usually YouTube uh, to our email address, which is Plastic Addictions Anonymous um, at gmail.com. If you guys want to send any mail. Um, you guys on Messenger already see me as where I'm at. All right, so we're just kind of slowly but surely getting this, these rims and stuff ready so we can build them. Rob, you working on your dump truck, brother? We'll get into something more interesting when I'm done with these tires, guys. We're going to start the chassis. Oh, that's what I can do. I can take a second break here, and I can show you guys. Okay, I'm working on the 40s coupe. As well as the 32 Chrysler. All right, so here's the 40s coupe. It came out outstanding this time. The paint job really, really came out outstanding. So I'm going to be able to finish that now. I'm really loving it. The interior, everything's already in. I just got to finish putting the bumpers on, the window, the lights in, the uh, wiper blades. Um, and I want to lower the front end a little bit more and put the front grill in and stuff. So that's done. I don't have it fully glued together yet. I have a couple other things I want to do to it, but I have the bag out. We're ready. I'm going to revisit that uh, and just tape it and send it out. So just so everybody knows, that will be the 1940s coupe. Like I said, to me, that is a beautiful paint job. It came out nice. So also, the 32 came out super clean and nice. Hold on one second here. I got a couple of small touch-ups to do with it, but I'm really not, you know, killing myself over them. So... But it came out rather outstanding, if you ask me. So that's going to look really nice, especially when I put the wood boards in and I put the spare tires on and I have the rumble seat open and I have all that all that painted up in color. It should look really nice. So there's the 32 one coming up. Um, give it a give it a week for it to dry, and we'll probably start working on that sometime next sometime the week after next. Um, but I'll be throwing in a video of the 40s just so everybody knows what my plans are, guys. That's what it is. Um, and I'd like to thank Robert, and I'd like to thank Dave, and I'd like to thank Sarge, you guys, for coming in and checking it out. I really do appreciate it, guys. Um, I know during the day sometimes it's hard, but it's, it's one of the easiest times for me. I may be able to go live again later on this evening as all my family is going to be gone. I'm going to be in the house like three hours by myself. It's going to drive me freaking crazy. Um, um, so I'll probably put a TV on. If I put the TV on and a movie in, I'll sit in my chair and go to sleep. So, so hey, Mr. Paul, how are you? Glad to have you lurking, brother. I looked the channel last night late. Where were you? You surely weren't up and around on us, with us. Sorry, you can go watch the video later, brother. I don't know. I just felt like working last night late. Everybody went to bed. And 
I didn't have nothing to do. And I popped on, and lo and behold, there was a couple of people lurking my channel last night. Matt and Rob were there last night with me. I built the sleeper, and we built some tires, and I'm finishing off the tires this morning, and we're moving on to the chassis. The more I look at that engine, man, the more I'm liking that engine, just so you guys know. I, I really do believe that that really looks nice to me. To me, that looks pretty sharp. It came out pretty nice. I went ahead and painted the transmission gray like theirs was, and I went ahead and painted the turbo. Um, the connection to the turbo will probably be black out to the pipes or chrome. I'm not sure which, but I think it came out rather nicely. It's got a little bit of a white. looks like it. Oh, no, it was just a piece of paint chip or something. Yep, back on it. See, I should have never touched it. All right, there we go, guys. So, like I said, we're working steadily. Um, I went ahead and did some last night. I'm going to try to get these things done um, so that we can move on to bigger, better, brighter things. Um, I don't want to speed anything because then that's when I do my worst work. So if I just take my time, it takes me how long it takes me. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy the videos and the talk, the little chats that we do. Gets a couple of old models, gets a couple of old plastic slingers together in one room. We got some problems, guys. <laughs> we do need to do that, though. We do need to figure out a way to somewhere in between some of you guys. Um, I'm moving to Tennessee in a couple of years, and I don't know how much. I know that's closer to a lot of you guys, so maybe we'll be able to meet up somewhere centralized and have a cup. Well, have a cup of coffee or a soda or something. I don't drink, guys, so we can't go to a bar. I mean, we can go to a bar, so I'm just don't. You know, I'm just gonna be drinking soda. Just make sure it's one that's got Pepsi and Coke for Paul. I don't think Paul drinks either. I take too many medicines to drink, dudes. Imagine all the medicines I'm on and alcohol. Man, boy, I'll tell you what. I already feel like a zombie half the day. All right, so I'm cleaning out the center of the brake drums because it goes inside the rim. Yes, I know you guys that are here already know that. This is for the YouTube guys that just came in or just start not checking out the channel. Why I'm doing what I'm doing by hand is because it's a lot easier than trying to get a little piece of sandpaper on a dowel rod and have it be able to the end of the dowel rod and be able to sand it down right. So this is one of the easiest ways I've found to do it. I use my 45 blade and I clean it up. Same thing I clean most of the center stuff up with too. I want it a little rough because I want it to really adhere. Oop, wrong one. That's going to be cleaned up anyways because it's going to get the chrome cap. I am going to do the chrome caps on these. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the uh, light silver tint that it has on the back of the wheels on the box. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I swear I wasn't on 10 seconds, man, and Rob popped in. Matt popped in. I was like, whoa, or Matthew popped in. That's what it was. I think it was Matthew that popped in first. I don't remember. It was late last night, but I was just feeling like doing a little plastics thing. And so I jumped on the channel, not expecting anybody to be up that late, or definitely not expecting anybody to be following that late. But I guess once you put that notification on, if you're on, you're on. All right, so I got some touch-ups to do. Well, I'm going to have to pull the wheels back apart before I put them on to do a little bit of touch-ups on the rims and the coat on the rings and stuff. But otherwise, everything's coming out pretty dang nice. And again, I'm going to say for a AMT kit that normally gives problems, it's always got its own little problem. I, I went back here because I saw some green around the edge. I wanted that was a little too dark. Um, this kit is actually going together fairly nicely. The engine went together supremely. I was very happy with that. The tires and rims all fit snugly and tightly, and they don't do not any do not bow or you don't have to fight them to get them into place. And I didn't have to cut the rings out of them. And so maybe somebody's getting on somebody because the cleanliness of all this stuff is really getting better, even on the sprues. I mean, you only got a little bit on the exterior mold with it. This is the whole chassis package. So you only get a little bit of here, but there's nothing, nothing anywhere on any of the parts. So that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Somebody just missed um, cleaning up the mold on the end, on the edges, the actual screw edge. So but that's the, it's pretty good that this is going, work, going together so good. So I would recommend this kit so far. I will know if I would 100% recommend it once we get the chassis started. That's usually where you run into some problems from it sitting in a box. But, depending on what it is, maybe a little blow dryer and some root strength <laughs> and some pins and a couple of straight edges. You can do whatever you need to with it.
Tomorrow will be on YouTube, everyone. I'm going back and forth every other day. So I have both desktops set up. It's easy for me to do. I'm not ignoring everybody. I'm working. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the... I know what y'all are waiting for. Y'all are waiting for that first oops, aren't you? I know you are. You're waiting to see it. I know you are. Uh, so far, I didn't have any oopses. Check it out, though. I didn't even have any oopses on the windows. Oh, my God. I got them all in without any glue on them. I, and I painted the touch-up without getting any paint on them. Oh, my goodness. Same thing with the hood, man. I touched the edges of the hood up. Didn't get anything on the top. It came out outstanding. So now I just got to lay in the back letting it do. I touched up the little tiny dot that was up here that somehow got chipped off and around the front where the firewall is going to go. That's it. It's done. I'm not touching it again until it's ready to... And I may not do that right away because I want it to dry. So we may visit something else while everything is drying because I like to give that a couple of days to dry like I did the body. That's why I don't have any mess ups. And things that slide around because the paint just got loose. Yeah, um, we're going to do that. By the way, everybody, we're going to do another buddy build. I, I, if um, bleh, Jeff will pop in probably or Steven or somebody, but we're going to do a Peterbilt or a KW buddy build 124, 125 scale, guys, your picks. Um, does not, I mean, it would be better if we all did the same thing because it would be fun like it did with the fire truck. Um, but I have four KW, so I'd rather do a Pete if that's okay with everybody for my end. My end would be better with Pete. I don't know what you guys want to do. Um, I know Paul's game for either one. Him and I already talked. So, Rob, you okay with that? You got a Pete in your collection somewhere, Rob, that you can pop out and do? Well, that's any Pete, any Peter built, doesn't have to be. I mean, it'd be nice just to be like the um, Ravel KW because that's what I think I'm going to grab off of Amazon. I'm just going to grab that one is all I'm going to grab. Um, yeah, I think it's like 35 bucks, something like that, 39 bucks, something on Amazon. I'll have to go look. It's in my cart. I keep that and I keep the KW in my cart in case I decide to do it again and make a twin or something or I run out of builds. I want to just start doing I want to start doing construction builds and tanks. That's what I want to do. I want to do I want to do army construction stuff. I've seen some really cool stuff and I think that's what I want to do. Okay. Well I don't want you to have to go buying nothing to do that. So don't do that. So if you got a KW in here, you build the KW, that would be fine. I just dropped the whole rim, believe it or not. Oh there it is not mine. I was sitting on the damn thing. I was sitting on a dang thing. All right, so we, we're all set up now to start gluing stuff together, I do believe. Got both edges. Ready? So we're going to have to put one on here. Yep, so I do have to do the edge of this. Hold on, I'll be taking care of that in one second. This is a faster way than doing it with the emery board to me. Like I said last night, it, it doesn't bother my hands as much than holding that thin in my board. This actually gives my finger something to grab too. And I'm not really having to put any pressure because I'm just dragging the blade across it, so it's not really making my hand muscles do any, do any work. I'm supposed to be wearing a brace every day, I just haven't gotten it yet. I'm supposed to be wearing braces on my elbows and my arms. My doctor asked me about it my last visit. How were the braces working out? I had to tell him I didn't have them yet. <laughs> he looked at me real funny. Uh, he's not, you know, he's not upset. Him. He's just like, you need to get him. He's been taking care of me like 16 years now or something. So him and I are pretty close. He looks at my model bills like every other time I go. He's like, what do you got new to show me? <laughs> no worry, Matt. Cool. Be safe. Have fun. Very, very cool. You got to let us when you can, brother. I appreciate you stepping in and saying hi. That's what I always say. If you can step in and say hi, that's cool. If you can't, watch it later. If you can't come to the live, that's cool. You can watch it later. It'll be out there till tomorrow night. Same thing with tomorrow's show, bro. Then it'll be out on our YouTube channel. If you need a link to it, let me know and I will send it to you. Or anybody can probably send it to you by now. I'm sure everybody's got it. No, I'm not really getting any glue out of the tube. I'm trying not to because it's the outside portion of the 
in the room, so I don't want to make it too sloppy. Alright, and like I said, we'll put the rims to the side and start popping out the chassis stuff here when I'm done with the rims. Oh, and another thing, upcoming, for those of you who watch this later on, um, and don't watch all the other ones if you catch it, I want to make sure every video has it. Uh, Steve and I are starting a steampunk build as of November 1st. That's next month. The first, that would be Monday, that starts. So I will be building that here, guys, um, on the live show. So if you guys want to check that out, you can. Um, just so you know, it will be here, though. I Let me just record it. Maybe I'll just record it and build something else with you guys. I'll keep going. I'll keep going with the semi here with you guys, and I'll do that on the side and make videos of it and post them. I can do that. Boy, you guys with steampunk. I have a. I have a. Somewhere around here. Anyway. Yeah, I do. I have the tester stand. I have this stuff. Yeah, supposedly dries clear or whatever. I do have that. I don't use it though. I don't know. I'm just it's just old old school. I'm just used to doing that. And then I sand in down inside here, blah 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 that way and that way. <laughs> um I don't know, it's just you know, old dogs have you know old habits. It's just my preference, I guess you could say everybody builds differently. I don't know, I prefer to and that little brush, I shake a lot for that little brush. And if I really try to use that little brush on, on other parts, I'd probably make a mess out of it. The, at least the tip with the two tip, I can you know I can control the flow and put dots if that's what I want, or I can put a line if I want. The other one just like brushes on like paint. I don't. I really don't. I didn't like it when I used it last time I used it. And it took too long to dry. Not like this stuff. This stuff tacks up for you, and you're ready to rock and roll. I would give this stuff enough time and you won't be able to break it together especially if it's clean plastic going back and forth being glued together all right i will touch this all up later we have the rims built guys i'm going to go ahead and put the drums in as well on this one and then the other one and we will be done with the rims and i will start unboxing the or unbagging the chassis all right a little rough there. Like I said, I'll touch them up before I put them on. I'm going to pull the other ones off and touch them up as well. I did make my forest green touch-up paint this morning. All right, so there's those. They need to set and dry. Hey, hey, hey. I'll close up my glue here. And start pulling out parts. Hey, Jeff. Oh, no, I got it. <clears throat> like I said, it's just my shakes and stuff that, that caused me a problem. And I lean, so not, nothing's ever right on where I put it, so I, I have to fight with things. You'll notice the more you watch my build, Sergeant, that I'm, I'm a little bit of a different build to do the things that I have to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead, because I know the pin's going to go in there. I'm going to go ahead and scratch this off of here. Should have done that before I put the thing. Sidewall on. That's where the chrome cap's going to go, so I can go ahead and do these. I didn't do the other ones either, I gotta do that. Gotta make sure we're all ready to put them on and cap them off. So I can honestly say the wheels are done and ready. Now there's one. Now there's a little bit of flash on the top edge of this ring in the inside of the outside inside of the rim outside of the rim had a little bit of a line of slash on it all right there's that one and right, i'm going to go ahead and do this one as well because it's here so the like i said the tires fit nicely on just like every other all the other parts so like i said i'll give this kit so far an eight out of ten um because i haven't done the rest yet so until i get further into it i won't give it a better rating than that but as so far Everything fitting together and not causing a problem. Everything so far has actually done exactly what it was supposed to do. I don't have to fight it. Didn't have to fight it. 
I mean, like so many AMT kits that you get. And don't forget, Friday, I made a, on the model asylum, I made a small GIF of a bunch of the members' builds um, to play during the show, so you guys got something to check out. Um, Rob! Oh, I'm glad this. Hey, Jeff, Snap Pete. Oh, Peter built. Any Pete. We're going to do a Pete build. Buddy build. And I have like five KWs. I really don't want to do another KW right now. But I wouldn't mind doing another Pete. Because I've only got like two of those or three of those. So that, that wouldn't be bad to add to my collection. Another one of those. Um, maybe I'll get a trailer with it or something. We'll figure something out. Um, but yeah, we're going to do another buddy build. And we're just trying to figure out who's building what. Um, it, it was going to be KW or Pete. So I guess it can still stay that way. I'll discuss it with Paul, but it, came up, it was Paul's idea, so I want to make sure he got, you know, he's on track with the way it's going to go. Um, but him and I, I decided I was going to do a Pete. So, but yeah, if you guys got a Pete, come hang out with us. And even if you don't, you know, come bring your KW, come build a truck with us. That's all. Sorry, you too, man. Go, go get a truck if that's what you want to, brother. And no sorry, Jeff. It's all cool. Or Robert. No sorry, brother. It's all good, man. Like I said, if you missed something, I left it to where you guys can rewind too, by the way. My settings should allow you to rewind the video. So if you missed something, you can go back to it. Just so you know. And then go fast forward to catch back up if you choose. So I did make sure that was on in the settings of the uh, Facebook. So Facebook controls all that stuff. All right. Oop. Wait, let me stay. Wow, that's a first. Oh, nothing came out. Now I see something out. See, Louisa. All right, so that's about it. In a second, I'll clean my cap, put this stuff to the side. But I, I mean, really, guys, th these wheels are so clean. I mean, you cannot feel anything whatsoever. Somebody, these had to be machine clean. They had to be and cut, or the mold doesn't have the center to it. All right, so all my wheels are ready to go on. Yep. So the rims are ready to go on. The engine's ready. Let's go ahead and move on to the chassis. Let me go ahead and leave this out. I'm not going to need glue right away. So let me go ahead and clean my tip here and the rigger. And I found some of my purple gloves. I'm loving it. I can touch my paint and stuff with them. Do now. I don't have to worry about acetoning my fingers every time I paint something outside. Um, it's going to be another beautiful day until later this afternoon. I might try to get something else painted. Um, maybe the engine on the Chrysler or something. Try to get that all done. Um, tomorrow, we're supposed to have a little bit of rain. Early, early, early in the morning. And then it's supposed to get really, really hot. But that means the humidity is going to be way too high for me to um, get out there and paint. It'll leave watermarks on it. And I don't want to do that. Moisture marks. So, I have, like I said, I have to wait for the right day. And it's got to be a really hot, still day. And it can't have just rain. That's the thing. I noticed that. It can't have just rain or I end up with moisture. Um, from, just from going from my house to outside, I get moisture and I have to sit it outside in the sun for 15-20 minutes and let it dry and then wipe it off with a paper towel um, and then let it dry for a couple more minutes and then I can paint it um, just for the condensation that you know gets on it from going outside. So, alright, what am I doing now? We're moving over to the chassis guys. Del Chassio Dudos. Alright, this is also going to tell you you got your ambers here. I'll show you that in a second. That's cool. That's cool, Sarge. That's no big deal, brother. I have, well, I don't, I'm not building these things at the same time. I have them started. Um, I try, because I do rattle can outside, I try to paint a couple of kits in advance if I have them that I'm going to be doing next so that the paint job is already done. I do unboxings and I do content, stuff like that on YouTube and stuff. So um, when I do that, it's usually um, because I've already got all that out there. It's all done already. So, all right, so we're doing the... Chassis now, guys, which is step number three. Uh, Amazon has my 4300, if I'm not mistaken. And I think I saw it. Go look at the video that says on YouTube that says uh, my trip to Hobby Lobby here in town. I think they had one on the bottom shelf as well. I know they had my uh, Mack truck there, and they had the 
Um, Peterbilt and the and the Freightliner dual kit, the 75th anniversary kit. I remember them having that. All right, I'm, I think I got all the parts here that I need for the chassis. Um, I probably will not have time to build the chassis here on the show. We might, but we'll try. So we'll try. Um, so a little bit at a time. There's pipes that I put in here. Um, I was going to paint those. I'm not sure because these are the pipes that lead off of here and go across. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do them. But I'm pretty dang sure that they're not going to be white. I'll tell you that right now. All right. So I'm seeing. Let me get my cutting board off to the side. Put my instructions here. So you guys, you guys really can't see them, but... I'm going on the instructions so everybody knows. Um, and I pretty much know the parts because I've done a lot, of, a lot of trucks. So I pretty much know the parts. And they're all shaped differently in this type of build. So it's, it's easy just to cut them off and go back, clean them up, and go from there. Um, once I get all of the chassis built, then I'll paint it. And we'll go from there. So I'm just going to get them and place them into position where they're supposed to be. Now that one is... I don't see that one. I don't see that one. Okay, I see that one. That one I definitely see. This one I see. That's going to be that one. Okay. Now what this one is. So that's this one. Touch, 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 touch. And there's that one. that one cha 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 and we'll go look for the other ones that are going to be on another spur i thought i had them all but i do not get the chassis wheels off here and i'll have to go look and they're saying this is cha 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 we'll go with the magnifying glass you know what i probably just need light guys sorry about the light guys there gentlemen but that's the way it works so that goes there that doesn't look like it goes there either that must be something else because that doesn't go there either this is that one, so we got that one and that one. So we got that one and that one goes there. That one goes there. That one goes there. What's this one? Where's that one? That's that one. Okay, so I got them all. Other than the front end pieces, which are these two right here and the chassis itself. All right, time to do some cleanup in a minute. All right, we have all the parts we need. Know where they go and why they go there. Okay, it's up to you, brother. Whatever you want to do, man. Like I said, if you got some other kind of kit you'd rather build, it, it does not have to be. At Peterbilt or KW. We can just do a buddy build, rig build. That's fine. We are still all going to build it differently than the other person. So it's the same thing, brother. Don't fret. Don't, you know, don't go, don't go, you know, buying something that you don't have or something. If you got something that'll work, it works for me, bro. It really does. Right, I'm just going to go ahead and cut this along here. I'm going to cut the screw down. Here, and this is the one that had a little bit of flash on it. Not much, just a little bit. Right there on the edges in the corner. Right on the chassis rail. Okay, so chassis there. Okay, so we got all the parts now. Let me clean this rail up so it doesn't gather, grab, grab on anything. Here, I have a piece of screw. All right, so now I can do this one. Because it's only got that on it. All right, so we're good there. I try to clean all the screw off as I go along because I want to make sure there's no parts being missed. So if I know I cut down to the parts where the parts are not there, I know that I'm not missing something. There we go. All right. I'm going to get that off there, too. All right. So the only thing on this screw is the drivetrain. 
All right, I don't see any of the stuff. Right. So we have everything else that we need, and then I just throw everything in the box, and we start building. <clears throat> and when I'm done with the show, I will clean all the box up and put everything back in bags and stuff. Um, all right. Let me clean this up. Shut that off now. I got all the parts. Is that better on your eyes, guys? Sorry about that. Hey Don, good morning. That's cool. Popped in and said good morning, like I always say. If you can pop in and say that'd be great. If you can come and hang, that'd be great. If you just watched the video and if you just watch the video and um check it out later on, that's cool, brother too. I got you. It's all good. Well, build what you got, man. Like I said, we can just do just a buddy build. It doesn't have to be the exact kit, guys, like I said. You know, I'm not, you know, we, you, know you guys can even grab, we won't do a buddy build. We can even do, you know, you guys can just grab a different kit and start with me on when I do the 30, when I do the 32 or something. And, you know, that can be our buddy build, you know, and I won't build it without, you know, you guys. And we guys can, you know, or we can. It all depends on what you guys want to do, really, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty easy with it. Okay, got that back in there. All right, time to clean up and start seeing what we got here. All right. Now, this frame, this chassis wheel, is really straight. I mean, it's really nice and straight. They really had it nice and tight on that sprue, and they had it in its own individual little case and casing. I'm just trying to get the... Because once I build it, I'll check it out too. I was going to stretch it, guys. I'm not going to stretch it. I'm just going to go ahead and build straight. I stretched the uh, I stretched the last one I did, which the last rig I did, which was the um, um, Mac Cruise Liner that I did. I stretched it three inches. So I, I'm not going to stretch this one. I'm going to build one regular, and then maybe the next one that I build, I'll stretch. Maybe I'll stretch the one that we do on Buddy Build. I don't know. It depends on what I find on Hobby Lobby that I want to grab. Maybe somebody will buy it for me for my birthday and one of my family members or something. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, we can do that. We can do whatever you guys want, man. However you guys want to do it. I like it when the hood pieces are shaped like this because that's a nice strong bond. And this is really clean in here. The hole is really clean, guys. I mean really clean. So it should, your front end should tilt perfectly fine. And it's got a stopper. It should come in and stop. So not like a lot of them do. When you open up the hood, they just flop forward or land on your bumper. I hate it when that happens. All right. All right, so that's clean. Oh, I'm missing you. Thomas. Hey, no, 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 no. We're addicts. Oh, no, 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 no. Plastic enthusiast. No, that's a, that, that's an X, that's an X, and, and, and S, um, P, or NPS. Brother. See, I don't even know what I'm saying. No, that's what they are. Those are model enthusiasts. That's when we first turn them. Then they become addicted. You're well past that. I think you're well past addiction, dude. <laughs> you tell him, Joseph. Morning, Joseph. <laughs> ah, can't get away with it. See, you're talking to the wrong crew, guy. Look out. You might get testers glued or clear glued and plastic shaving like a tar and feather thing only for models. Oops. 
Drop cheese, there's one. All right, let's clean stuff up as we go. I do need my light again because I got to make sure I'm not cutting the wrong pieces off. So welcome, Joseph. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, you definitely were barking up the wrong tree on that one, my friend. <laughs> Joseph jumped right on on that one. You are still addicted. I would fully 100% agree. If you have more than one kit in your stash, ready, ready for you to grab at any time and build, you are addicted. I am sorry. You are an enthusiast if you have only one or two kits in your stash. See, I even go above that because I've got uh, several kits in my stash, several that I've already started. So I don't have as much as you guys do, but I don't have just one. And when I get down to one, let me ask you this question. If you get down to one build and that's all you have left in your stash, would you panic and go buy a bunch more? I would. <laughs> I don't know about panic, but well, I guess I might panic. I go Jones. I, I'd be plastic Jones and what should we call that? PTs, PDTs, plastic disorder withdrawals. <laughs> PDWs. There you go. Or we can call them PWs, plastic withdrawals. All right, so that's nice and clean now. It was only connected at both ends. Well, see, that's what I'm saying, you know, you, you, you definitely, with 100 kits in your stash, that's a lot of kits, man. A lot of kits, a lot, a lot, a lot of kits. Now I know why you sent me that bulldozer, you're trying to dig yourself out. <laughs> see, I knew that had to be out, that had to be out of there. Just blocking that. Okay. I'm just trying to scrape off the, just a little bit of the mold line. Yeah, that's better. That looks like it's supposed to come off as well. It is. There's one. Well, I could say I've got probably 90 builds. I'm almost at 100 builds at least. <laughs> I don't have that many. To I don't have room to stash 100 kits. If I had 100 kits, my wife would make me move out. But if I had 100 kits, she'd dang sure make sure that I had my own dang outhouse or room or something. Some building somewhere when we're moving. That's what we're trying to do. So hopefully eventually I'll be able to start collecting and not be just a builder. I'll be a collector like some of you guys. Or is that hoarding? Do you guys consider that hoarding or collecting? I know. Collecting. That's just a joke. Alright. Moving on up. Or should I say moving on back. To the rear of the chassis. A little bit at a time. Okay. I've never done anything in resin either. Me neither. Never. I hear there's not a lot of difference. Just the prep is a bit different for paint. And there, you know, depending on the, the guy who does the resin and how well he cleans it, there might be some cleanup that you got to do to make it do what you want it to do. But I hear they're pretty neat. Um, there's a couple of places on my... If you go to my profile page, uh, Joe Hudson, you can go to my groups. And there's a couple of groups that I belong to that actually sell 
the resin kits and boxes, full kits and boxes. So, you guys can go check those out. Yeah. Alright, this one's got a bit of a, more of a tent line line on it. I am painting the chassis black, by the way. We might actually get to put the chassis together today. This is going up pretty quick. Make sure I get that right. Make sure I got that right. Because that's all I just want to make sure everything's right before I say, okay, it's there. I haven't, I haven't even used resin extras. Nope. Everything I have is 100% plastic. Like I said, when I started this out almost two years ago now, when I started all this out, when I got back into modeling, I had nothing, guys. All I had was my air compressor, a tube of glue, and a kit. I mean, we bought some X-Acto. I, I found my old X-Acto knives and bought a couple of new ones. Um, I, at first, I was using, like, your school kids' paintbrushes. Is that all I had? I didn't have any good brushes. Uh, what else did I use? Oh, I used newspaper on her dining room table with with uh, saran wrap over it. So everything you see here, everything I bought and have picked up since I started back into it. And I, I can't believe how much stuff I've actually accumulated. I mean, between donations to the to the channel to get built or parts donations or whatever to work with, you know, to put in my extras box. So if I run out of something to do, I can do that, and you know. I try to, anything that gets donated to the channel, I put directly back into the channel and, you know, I buy a kit or I buy parts or I buy, or I build whatever gets sent me on the channel, whatever, that kind of stuff. But nope, I only have, you know, like, I have like, what, six kits? One, two, three, four, five. I actually have six unbuilt kits and a couple that are actually, and a couple that are actually, um, scratch built. So I have, I have almost ten, I have eight. Woo! All right, we're almost there, guys. Where'd that one go? Okay, so that does not look right, though, to me. But it's got to be it. I'm going to look to make sure there's not another one like it, but that's pretty much it. So that one's that one. Uh... This one goes here, this one goes here, that goes there, that's right, that's right, that's right, I have that piece, there's that piece, that's right, and there's that piece, that's right. Okay, so we got all the pieces, we're ready to rock and roll, are we ready to start putting this chassis together? Well, that's pretty cool. I wish I could do that. I don't have anything that's, you know, 3D printed or I can print 3D or anything like that. I don't have a 3D printer or... That looks more like that to me. But it really doesn't look like that on the, on the, on the undercarriage is the problem. It looks like... Oh, wait. I'm wrong. I, I know it's, it's, it's right. I'm stupid. There's two pieces going together here. I'm a dum-dum. Yeah, those two go together. What a wiener. I'm a wiener. You're a wiener. Wouldn't you like to be a wiener, too? I, I know what I was going on. I was confused, but I'm not confused anymore. I see the light. Oh. All right. So we're about ready to build the chest. What do I do? There it is. I don't know if you light in your face. There you go, guys. Right, that one's already clean. But now I need to sand that down because it's going to make it stick up. There's a mold dot right in the center of where this thing's going to lay flat. 
right there in the center, right there. Right there, there's a mold dot. I don't need that anymore. Right there, man. I can't even believe it. Can't even believe it. Light words gotta leave flat, so I gotta get that off. Alright. So now we're good to go there. So now that's gonna look like, let me go and put this one together. So this is the only one, which is numbers. There's two of them. And the funny part about it is, intermediate cross member two pieces is all it says. Number 49. So that's number 48, 47, 46 as we go along. So one, two, this, then they're also telling you one, two, three, four, five, how to put stuff together. So that's pretty cool. Yes, I know. That's what those numbers, black numbers mean. Is those are the steps you're supposed to take to get stuff together. All right. Bring this together. Get it ready to be put in place. I don't know if I have any glue on it. I can't see real well. So the two pieces go together and it makes one eye being cross member with a um, cut out in it. No worries, Rob. It's not me. All right, so we got that ready now. All right, so now I'm sure that we have all the parts. Mostly, anyway. All right, so let's do it. So I can get rid of all this. And use this as my guide. So, that goes there. This one's going to go here. All right, so we're going to do the first set here. So I'm going to do one on one side and then one on the other. It looks like there's a cutout on them that goes into place. Okay, so the cutout goes to the back side. There's a, there's a knob on the to get you to put it right at the right, right at the right spot and at the angle, right angle. So follow that. Make sure you get the right pin in there because if you get it backwards, your radiator or the front of your engine is not going to sit right. I'm not sure exactly which one this is, but oops, don't do that one. Not that one yet. Now let's see. I'm going to do this one. And this one. These are the main parts that I know are going to get glue. And then there's going to be this one here. Look at that. Once I get one side on, I'll start with the other side. Put it on top, and then we'll figure out how I'm going to make it stay put. Okay, so it's got to go. So if this is that side, it goes that way. Yep. Okay, so now again, put it in a place, move it around to it so you feel it sit in the seat. I didn't get any glue out of the tube. What's the problem with getting the glue out of the tube now? There we go. Next, are these two put together? Where'd it go? So this would go here like this. There's another one that the two pieces go together. This way. Goes in there like that. Makes kind of like a pin or a cup. All right, got it. So glue goes here on this line because that's where the line starts at. And then we go across here because there's a belly on it that does the touches there too. Okay. Now the square part goes facing outward. It appears on the instruction, so that's what I'm going to do. But they say it goes right up inside there, just like that. Make sure I got it centered and upright. All right, looks like we got it. All right, so there's that piece. So this is the next one that's going in, and it is going in right on the 
Looks like the only double lines that are here. Looks like it goes right in here. So it goes this way facing up. <clears throat> guessing like that. Okay, so let's see. Make sure I'm in the right spot. There's a bump. And there's a bump. Yep, I'm in the right spot. Alright, so that one's in a place now, sitting in a place. I'll have to glue it to the other side. Um, next is going to be this big old boogie boy here, which it shows goes on the outside of the chassis. This one goes next, which is going to be also these pins back here, to which where it goes. So I'm going to put a glue on this as well. And it shows that the... Doesn't matter which side, they're both the same, so it doesn't matter which angle, which side it goes on. But there's a line right in there that it goes into. So it right in the pin perfectly. There we go. And last but not least, the tail one, which goes right inside, just about a quarter inch, right next to the, the hole right at the end. That's where that one's going to go. And it's going to go with the hoop up, the bend in it up. All right, so there's that now. So now I'm going to follow along over there on this, which I now know where everything goes. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on every one of these parts. Where it's going to go. And that should be that one. Should be that one. And last but not least that one. I don't want to put a little bit of glue on these. Just so I can adjust everything and get it setting right. And I'll paint it either later today or tonight, or first thing in the morning when I get up after the sun really comes up. It's probably going to be just before the show that I'll be able to paint it. I won't be able to paint it before then. All right. Now, I just the way I do it is I just put make sure my cutting board is right in front of me, and I make sure to line up as I go along that to that. And usually it pops right into place for me. There it goes. Pops into place there. Pops in a place there. All right. Now, if you move the centers around, you can usually get them to sit right in a place pretty dang easily without any real issues. And what's the deal there? Okay, so we don't want that like that. We want it over this side here like that. Okay, so that, that'll make that straighter. All right, that'll help get that straight. And there it is, guys. There is the chassis. I'm just going to keep kind of adjusting everything as I go along. It came out nice and straight. It's not leaning. It's not bent. Wow. Again, first for AMTs, big rigs. I don't think I've had any rig that came out that easy and perfectly straight. That's awesome. All right, so I'm just kind of, like I said, I'm just kind of taking the center cross members and making sure that they're, the angle portions are actually where they're supposed to be. They're at the top. I want to see them at the top. They're not, they're not bent. They're not leaning forward. So it looks pretty dang good to me. All right, so chassis is done, guys. All right, guys, I'm going to cut out. Oh, wait, I'm not done with the chassis. No, I'm not. Ha <laughs> ha, I lied. I got a couple more parts put on this. And then we're going to let it sit. I can't really do any more to it. Um, we'll move on to the next instructions tomorrow. Um, and I should have this painted and ready by the time the show tomorrow. Um, like I said, it's supposed to be a fairly nice day after it rains. And if it doesn't rain for a while, I might, if this dries up fast enough, I might go ahead and, I might go ahead and paint it if I can. I'm just going to kind of squeeze the ends of these. Just kind of make sure they're right in the right place. The pin is in the right hole. Yep. All right. That's a little leaning. That one's perfectly straight. That one's perfectly straight. All right. There we have it. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it sitting just like this. 
like that and we're good let me go ahead and put the front end on and stuff which is fairly easy guys there's a line there and there's a hole right there and it goes basically in just like that all right so we're going to do that now hope you guys enjoyed hanging out hope the guys you guys come back tomorrow um, give again, give my buddy Dan, uh, Dave at uh, Damn Paint Body and Detailing a yell out. Um, if you guys are anywhere near Mount Sterling, Ohio, um, just swing in and say hey. Maybe tell him you need a vacuum or something. Tell him you need something fixed on your car. You're wobbling or your tires need to be checked and go have him do something. That man's sitting around doing nothing. Go get him busy. No, he's not. I'm just kidding. He's working on stuff. <laughs> That's just me trying to be funny. That's all. It's just me trying to be funny. What am I trying to do now? I'm trying to put it on upside down. That's what I'm trying to do now. Do you guys see that? If you didn't, good. But again, there's that oopsie. Alright, there it goes. Perfect. Right into place. Alright. Now again, this is about the cleanest I have ever had an AMT chassis go together, guys. The clean, cleanest and the easiest. And that, my friends, is one straight level chassis. I don't know, guys. I got lucky today. I can look at it that way. Okay, so this one would go, there's supposed to be a bump to there and there. Okay, so this one goes there and there. Is there a line inside that it goes to? Yes. All right, so we put a couple of dabs over here. There's a couple of lines and a bump on each side of the trailer. The chassis, there's no way to mess this part up. It only goes on one place. Which are those little pins right there on the side. Alright. There it is. Set it down, make sure it's sitting level. I'm pretty sure that's the rear part of the rear, rear support somehow. I'll make sure it's straight too. Everything looks nice and straight. Nothing bowed, nothing bent. Not leaning forward or backwards, just kind of straight right up on there. Alright, last one coming on, which is the undercarriage one. It's called the front cab mount. So it's called front cab mount. Okay, so it's showing that it goes down inside. Right in front, the first pin in front, it's showing that you put it in this way. Like so guys, goes up and around the chassis. And there's a cutout that it slides into. Right there, and right there. So I'm dry fitting it, and that's where it goes. So now I'm going to go ahead and glue it up. Pretty simple. I'm just going to pull it off. Try to easy because you, you could bend it and break it. So it'll be easy with that. And the glue goes right into here because it glues right to the chassis wall. And then there's a hook that comes up and over the top of the chassis. And that's going to be all that's left for this build for this show, guys. Appreciate you coming in again. Like, subscribe, share, follow. Do me a favor, hit that bell so you guys know I'm on and doing builds. Or I just, like the other guys did last night, they caught me just popping in for the heck of it. Um, so you guys get all those notifications on. You'll know when I do that. Um, normally, night times, I'm probably, just so everybody knows, anytime I pop, really pop in is going to be on YouTube at night after hours. Another number, not answering the call. All right, again, everything looks really good. Nice and tight, nothing separating. Everything sitting level and square. But there you have it, guys. Gotta make sure that's level and square is what I gotta do. It doesn't look like it's in the right place. There we go. All right, it wasn't in the right place, though, guys. 
All right, so now I'm just going to try to make sure it's level and, level and square, not facing forward, but facing straight up, leaning up and down straight rise the way it's supposed to. All right. I think we got it, guys. I think we did it. All right, so there we go. I'll do the touch-ups on the uh, rims and get the tires built. Um, and next week, or next, we will be starting the rear end and putting the rear end stuff together. That will be number five. Three, oh, wait, where's number four? Four is the lights. I'm skipping that till the end. I always do. And so we're going to go right on number five, which is springs and rear axles. So you guys can see that. We're going to be doing springs and rear axles. So appreciate you guys coming in. Uh, thank you, everybody. Joseph, Robert, uh, Jeff, I do appreciate you. Sarge, all of you guys, man. I do appreciate you. Dave, for popping in. Um, who am I missing? I'm missing anybody. Donald. Donald popped in. I appreciate you, Donald, popping in. Um, who else? I think I said Jeff already. Who else we got? I'm trying to go make sure I got everybody, guys. Paul, thanks for popping in, my brother. I appreciate you guys, really, Jeff. And that's about it, guys. I appreciate you, Robert, and everybody. Um, I appreciate you guys lurking me and stalking me. That's a great thing. Um, you guys come in and hang out with me at any time, guys. If you guys see me online, feel free to jump right on. I, I, it doesn't bother me a bit. I love it. Um, I'd like to have somebody to talk to, but I didn't want to bother anybody last night and post to the group because it was kind of late and you know, I didn't know if anybody would be up and around. So figured I'd just pop in and do a little building and maybe a little small video, but I got caught. So I um, hope to see you guys again doing that. Um, appreciate any and all comments. Um, what's going on? So if you guys let me know that whether you like the video, you're doing okay. Uh, you watch the video afterwards done. Talking about Dave, right? Joseph? Yeah, I remember in a video he mentioned that he was working on a truck for you. In one of the lives, he came in and said that. Talk to him about it. Ask him. He don't get offended easy. I don't think, anyways. He's never been offended with me when I ask him questions. Well, he'll answer you. Let them know you're excited about it. Look, I was so excited about getting this kit, I forgot to do an unboxing and instantly painted the cab when, it, when I got the paint. I got the kit, it waited for like a week, and then I got the paint. I couldn't wait, man. I had to open it up and paint it, see what it was going to look like. So, here you have your basic look of where we're going with. So, and I'm going to do lines and stuff on this one, on this build. I even touched up the back. I got to do another little small coat you can see there. Uh, but the sleeper is going to go back to You're not going to see it, but I'm going to go ahead and patch it up anyway. I also want to open the window up just a little bit more so that the sleeper kind of sits that, right inside of it if I can. I like it to do that. Rather than having to sand the extra out here, sand out here and have it glued together. You know, so, that's just my ideas, guys. Thanks for coming up. Appreciate you guys again. Y'all have a great day. And I will be back on in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard him. Yeah, I saw you. I saw you. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Have a great day.